So just taking the batteries out, um, this wasn't really in part of the plan, but I'm definitely going to give this a clean. So they are out and I just think it'd be silly not to at the moment. So I'll actually explain what I'm doing. I need to bypass some of the electrics to avoid a switch that is extremely prone to shorting and setting on fire. But I'll explain that a bit better later on. But yeah, just giving this all a hoover up and a clean because as you can see, it's full of 40 years of rust and dirt. Right, so I thought I'd actually explain what I'm doing. Um, so I got a message back saying about the faults for the infrared switches, which are these here, um, which I had no idea about, which as it turns out, they are quite prone to shorting and setting on fire. So the infrared lights it being military, which in here we've got all the convoy modes um, for when they're literally driving in convoy and didn't want to be seen by the enemy. So they had infrared lights, which they would turn on here. And then this means that they would put infrared goggles on and you'd be able to see the vehicle in front of you and the enemies couldn't be able to see you. Uh, of course, the main problem with this is if the enemies also had the goggles, they would also be able to see you. Um, but the main problem that they now have today is them setting on fire. So I'm just taking out the cables. I've just found some stuff on forums about how to do it, which is remove this one fully from Terminal 3 and, well, Terminal 3 and Terminal 5 on there and then reinstall this blue one onto the big six-way switch in the middle. So I'm just working through that at the moment. So now I've got this cable out and I'm just going to use this one for the bypass. This one will come into here for this terminal. Just need to put the new head on it and connect it. So as some of you know, I always prefer to use the older tools just because they're generally a bit less quality, but these are the wire strippers that I'm currently using. Of course, not the nearest. But very cool. You adjust this little sort of like penny here. It'll give you the wire size so then you can fit it and strip it. So I'm soldering irons indoors and it's a Monday. So I need to get this old bit of cabling out of here. And I'm just going to use the heat gun because I can't really be bothered to go inside to get it. I'm also just as they're off, going to give these a bit of a clean. A bit of back to black. They're just the side parts from the dash that hold in the front. So here we go, giving them a bit of a clean. I'm going to use back to back original. See how it goes. Okay, so these are now looking pretty much brand new and very shiny. It's not even just because they're wet. So the black backs worked very well. Those will be going on shortly as I repair the dash. I'm just going to get the soldering iron just to finish off the electrics. So now it's all soldered together with the new bypass in and I'm just going to leave it out also to put the batteries back just before I test it because I don't want to put it all back together and have to take it apart again. But I'm going to give these terminals a bit of a clean and then put the batteries back in. I was saying I like to use old tools. This is my dad's old soldering iron. I don't even know when it's from but he used it when he was a child. So I don't think it's from anytime soon. Just going to give these a quick clean because they are not the best at the moment. I've just cleaned all the old grease off these, it's quite cool. It's got P and in the metal for positive and negative. You see, so I couldn't see through the grease before. So, battery is back in, dash is still out, but I'm going to give it all a test and see if it works. Lights are all good, all working. Bypass has worked successfully. 
Um, yeah, just think it's important just to assess the main thing in the car. Yeah, all good. So here we go, all back together now. All works, all rebuilt. I think these bits look amazing now that they're back to black and they're much shinier. Anti-acid splash is back in the middle. Um, so yeah, all good. Good job, job.